Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, Asteroid Fight Club. You are beautiful, fantastic, and awesome. And for my friends in Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, and I guess Tennessee, possibly Mississippi, you might be getting some ice this morning or over the next day or so. And definitely for the DFW folk, you can see right about there, that there may be a chunk of ice over the next four to six hours on your morning drive if you have to go somewhere. Not saying it's thousand percent going to happen, but just letting you know. And then we have an atmospheric river coming into parts of North California, Oregon, Washington, and the western parts of Canada. So there you go. Hey, I get it. Sometime, all of us like to be old man yelling at cloud about stuff, I guess. But we all pick our subject. And this person's like, hey, man, atmospheric river, my ass. When I grew up, it rained for weeks on end. Now, all of a sudden, it's an atmospheric river. Yeah, dude, people like to define things. So if you're going to get mad at that shit, um, I, I guess that's, that's what's happening. Oh, I'm going to tell a dangerous joke if I can. Okay, so this is the air over Ukraine, and there was a air fight between two fighters, uh, one Russian, one Ukrainian, and I know that a lot of people on YouTube will look at it and be like, chemtrails! That like somehow, during a battle over Ukraine and Russia, they're going to be like, yeah, both sides, be sure and spray your chemtrails while you're in the middle of combat, in the middle of fight, in the middle of war. Yeah, I'm poking at you chemtrailers. Try not to be so serious about it, okay? Oh, she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. We had a C 5.2 solar flare yesterday off the sunspots that are turning to face Earth. Yeah, so right now we've got two sunspots that are facing Earth, one that may grow, and then more that may be coming around the side of the sun. That's right. SolarHam.net saying, hey, a trio of active former regions from earlier in February are approaching the east limb and will begin to turn back into view within the next 48 to 72 hours. It remains to be seen if any sunspots are still vis 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 visible, but imagery courtesy of Stereo Ahead suggests that they are fairly stable at the moment. Stay tuned to Solar Ham for the latest updates. So we may go from two sunspots to five sunspots in the near future. We never really know for sure. Because the sun can be an unquantifiable mystery at times as far as future actions. That's my opinion. I'm allowed to have it. Yeehaw. Another opinion I have is that Asteroid Fight Club is super duper awesome, cool, kind to me. And you have been for years. I'm now within $788 of hitting my February Thor News fundraiser goal to keep Thor News up and running. Thanks to Susan, Nancy, Jason, Silky, and everybody out there. If you'd like to make a contribution, i got about two and a half days left in my fundraiser for February. Only $788 left to raise. You can send me a letter in the mail. i got a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, and a Patron. And nothing but gratitude and appreciation for y'all. Y'all are awesome, and I appreciate that. We could see here in the day three to seven hazards outlook. It might be cold up here around the very last day of the month in February, but the atmospheric river, which is possible and probable for parts of the North Pacific Northwest, we're talking down into Northern California, all the way up the coast, all the way inland to about Idaho, and then up through Canada. And then, hey, look, Alaska, you guys are getting heavy precipitation as well. Man, things are really heating up in Europe. I'm talking about Italy as Mount Etna, the volcano, has roared back into action. The large earthquakes have been quiet for a while, which is very interesting. Hey, Vern, talking about Philip Papin, who's always yapping about cool weather stuff, and, well, a nice case of binary interaction in the South Indian Ocean. Vernon, Invest 93S, Bull's SCAT. Vernon's core much stronger, but similar size suggests weaker. Anyway, you might have the binary action happening between t the two cyclones. 
And so that is always super duper fascinating to me. Speaking of binary, relative to us, Mars and Venus have been crossing each other's paths and will be doing so for the next month. So here we look. You got Earth and then Venus, which casts the supposed shadow that looks like this thing, which is always so weird. Then you got Mars moving into frame. And so, I don't know, planets are crazy, man. We know so little about the universe around us, including our inner solar system. And so we kind of knew February was going to be kind of crazy as Venus and Mars hook up in the sky three times between now and the middle of February, March, I do believe. Here it almost looks like Mars has moons. Well, Mars does have moons. Phobos and the other one. And here we can see the head of the galactic center, which looks kind of like a gremlin. He's always so weird. Crazy days indeed, my friends. What if the gremlin is sending mad messages into Mars, making him even more mad? That would be bad. You know what I'm saying? Okie dokie. Now let's look at model madness. Here we'll be looking at the basic GFS projection over the next 16 days of what will happen. You can see up until about the 5th, most of the action takes place in the Pacific Northwest with very little weather down here. <coughs> and then around the 5th is when they'll start to get going and then things could get nasty. The Southeast Central or however you want to describe it. And then possibly a wet zone period for Florida around the second week. But it looks like that for now, this zone is going to have not a whole lot of weather for the next week. But then it'll get really weathery with the majority of the precipitation being spring-like. Although there will be snow in possibly the four corners and the high north. It seems like everything below the Mason-Dixon line will be wet. So, but things can and will change because life is filled with surprises. But definitely we'll be keeping an eye on the Pacific Northwest. We're looking at possible heavy rain for parts of British Columbia, Canada, Washington, Oregon, and maybe even California, a northern. You know what? I should have started the video with this because this is the most interesting thing of everything I'm showing you tonight. I mean, other than trying to alert people about ICE and DFW. But look at this. This giant freaking uh, rain band stretching all the way down from like Nicaragua all the way through Florida, all the way up into Europe, Spain, France. And then it shows like another Fujiwara situation heading towards Europe around the 11th. I mean, this this would be a giant storm with a super massive freak tail and then almost even like a side head growing off its, I guess this would be its stomach. I don't know, man. Anyway, it looks like the wild weather for Europe is going to continue if this GFS model run is anywhere near correct. So let's watch it together. Oops. I mean, because this is some crazy shiz. So this starting now, and this has the major storm pumping rain into parts of Ireland and the UK and parts of Europe. Then you get another rain band around the third, but no heavy hit in the face with major lows, which is good. But then around the ninth, if this model verifies, then it starts to get really squirrely. That's where you get that like triple, you get to see the multiple lows and then one giant Category 4 storm that would go into France and Spain. And then another one, bam. So if that is correct, in about 10 days to 2 weeks, the weather is going to get pretty crazy in Europe. As things are pretty crazy there in general, it seems right now. And so, this is your early morning weather update for Asteroid Fight Club and all my friends out there. And I have two and a half days left in the Thor News fundraiser. If you would like to contribute to help me get to my goal, I only have $788 left to raise. Every single dollar helps. 
and I promise to do my best to try to kick ass through March as well. Um, I got a mailbox, a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, and a Patron. You can send it to. And I got nothing but love and appreciation for y'all. Y'all have been so amazing to me for so long. And that is why I try to do my best to bring you guys good information and stay optimistic in a world where people are uh, focused negatively all the time. And I'm not saying crappy shit ain't happening across the globe. It is. But, you know, it's always dark before the dawn. And I still think things will improve in the spring of 2022. So thank you very much to Asteroid Fight Club. And thank you, thank you, thank you to Susan, Nancy, Jason, Silke, Brittany, Dane, Michelle, Brady, Sarah Sen, Jesus Loves Gays on Facebook, Justin, Arnica, Mars Stars, Space River News, Greg, Pookie, Andrea, Megan, Wizard of Oz, The Texas Angel, Bruce, Patricia, Max, KJ, Anne, Brian, Marlita, Light Soul, Glenda, Barbara, Lauren, Richard, and Alexis. You guys are super duper amazing. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. God bless everyone. Have a great day and have a great weekend. Talk to y'all soon. Stay cool.